Welcome to another edition of Global Agenda Bootcamp. This is Hi Res Duke, and with lesson four, we're going to talk about crafting. Let's check out the locational aspects of crafting first. All crafting takes place in the prototyping center. You'll find it in the market sector, directly across from the auction house. Inside, there are four stations. From left to right, we have the Armor Mod Blueprints vendor, the Mod Crafting Console, the Mod Imprinting Console, and the Weapon Mod Blueprints vendor. Just outside the Prototyping Center, you'll find the Consumables Kiosk where you can buy blueprints for consumable items. On the ground floor of the Technology Sector, you can purchase the blueprints for Strike Force equipment. Now that you know the locations that are important for crafting, let's view the Agent Profile to examine the Crafting Skill Progress Meters. As always, the default key for opening your Agent Profile is P. At the top of your profile, click the Stats button. Then, click the Crafting Skills button. At the time of this lesson, there are four career paths for a crafter. The four paths are Armor modifications to upgrade your character's protections or hit points. Weapon modifications to add various stats to your weapons. Strike force crafting to create vehicles and weapons for agency versus agency combat and consumable crafting. These items are a common pool of PvE devices available to all classes. For each path, crafting skills use an increment of 100 items per quality level. 0 to 100 is uncommon crafting. You can craft items using green blueprints. From 101 to 200 is rare crafting. You can craft items using blue blueprints. And 201 to 300 is epic crafting. You can craft items using purple blueprints. Now that we've discussed most of the crafting basics, let's take a look at how it all comes together. I'll fill in a couple of the gaps as we come to them. Inside the prototyping center, I'm picking up a few armor mod blueprints so that I can increase my survivability. As you can see, there are three quality types for blueprints represented with different colors. If you're just getting started with crafting, you should probably pay close attention to the tool tips for blueprints. They provide important information about what the blueprints will do, as well as the crafting level required to use them. In Global Agenda, crafting blueprints do not expire when they're used. It's not a bad idea to collect all the ones you want as you generate the credits to purchase them. For the sake of demonstration, I'm purchasing two blueprints, ballistics for ranged protection and padded for additional hit points. Since I have the credits to get it, I also want to purchase a blueprint for repair kits. When you craft from this blueprint, you will receive seven repair kits to bring any uncommon item back to full durability. Since blueprints don't expire on use, there's no reason to have more than one in your inventory. It's not a bad idea to utilize the drop-down filters in your personal inventory list to eliminate the chance of making an unnecessary purchase. I don't own this blueprint yet, so I'll pick it up for future use. And now we should be able to craft. Stepping over to the mod crafting console, I'm noticing there's an issue. I have blueprints, but I seem to be missing something equally important, the components. Components are fairly easy to pick up from the auction house or by participating in PvE missions. Don't worry, I'm not going to put all of that in this video. Using PvE, it looks like I've found just enough components to craft a mod. After weighing my options, I've decided to craft a padded mod. This will allow me to add a few more hit points to my character. The chat box confirms my action, and now it's time to apply the mod to my character. At the mod imprinting console, I want to use the mod I just crafted. Since it was an armor mod, I need to set the appropriate filter first. I'm selecting an uncommon armor on the left side of the screen that doesn't have an additional mod outside of its inherent mod. Now I'm selecting the newly crafted mod on the right side of the screen and I hit the combine button. I didn't make a mistake so I'll click yes in the confirmation box. Now that the mod has been applied to my armor I need to equip it. To equip, I go to my profile and click the armor button. 
Now I select the appropriate slot, which in this case is head armor. On the right side of the screen, I select the new piece that I would like to equip. Since I'm adding additional hit points, you can actually see the results as soon as I close my profile. Watch my hit points number at the top left of the screen. Everything you've seen so far is applicable to all the crafting career paths. There's one more thing you need to understand so that you can be an expert crafter. To craft consumables, you will need special components that are not acquired by defeating enemies in PvE. These special components are salvaged from armor or weapon items that you may not want or need. Salvaging is very simple. Just press I to go directly to your inventory screen. Select an item that you want to salvage and click the salvage button. This could be an item that you no longer use or an item that is undesirable in some way. Higher quality items will result in more materials being salvaged. This concludes Lesson 4 of Global Agenda Boot Camp. For additional details, Check out the player's guide at globalagendagame.com slash getting started. Again, I'm Hi-Rez Duke, and thanks for watching.